This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Oh, oh spicy. Welcome back, it's the next day and I hope you enjoyed some of the drone shots of Mount Aung. We barely saw it today in the morning. Now we have an hour breakfast, some fruits and some Balinese original pastry. And in almost in one hour I think we're gonna have our cooking class, which will be very exciting for us because I am a very terrible chef. Lara's a good chef, but we never cooked Balinese before. Balinese vegan food actually, so stay tuned. Maybe you get motivated to do it yourself. Ready? So our cooking class literally already started. Again, we are pretty late. Um, so we are hurrying to our scooter now to get there immediately. So this is how our cooking class starts. Driving off of the motorbike, just down the street, so we don't have to walk in this blazing heat. Right, after a quick walk through the jungle, we arrived here at the Anandini Organic Garden and Kitchen. And I'm very, very excited to see how it will be. I think we're the only one, Lara. That's so fun, right? In here we use the all organic. Sometimes, you know, we join with the local farmer here. We are buy the dry up the poo, poo from the cows. Yeah, we sell to here and everything they will be growing. Okay. So mm -hmm. especially for the rice paddy season, we need around four months. But the tomato, uh, we have to waiting maybe another uh, one week because this is the fruit still very green. Mm -hmm. So when still uh, green like this, for cooking it's not good, but if you prepare like some salad or you mix with some cucumber with some sauce, something like that, so this is, is very nice. looks like a cactus for real I never thought dragon fruit is on this kind of plant and then the fruit is coming out of these little nuts here and the crazy thing is if they don't build this help structure of tree for the dragon fruit it will lay on the ground like strawberries and then they will just get bad because they get soaked up by water I never thought that just one tree gives one banana pack of fruits and then after it's, it's done. Lara's doing the chef today, and I'm doing some filming and helping. We're gonna switch up soon. <laughs> Okay, 
And now after we prepared all the spices for the boom boom, for the sauce, right? For all the dishes, we're gonna fry it now. We are pretty much a long time in the cooking class and we just prepared the spices and there are four dishes in total. So it'll be a long day today. They're spicy now, they're salty. So we're not. <laughs> so you just saw the sauce that we made, and we made it actually for our first meal as well, which is young papaya, papaya soup. soup with yellow sauce. And also, we are doing some tempeh, which is going on top of the soup. So I'm gonna try this young papaya, which is the papaya that is not ripe yet, but you use it for papaya soup, for example. Crispy, it's, it's more crispy, yeah. right? Yeah. It's interesting, right? It is. It's like it's not soft. It's just a little bit more hard. But it's good. Does it taste like normal papaya? Yeah, a little bit less, right? It's a bit more textury. Yeah. Not not as harsh. Yeah. Exactly. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so the soup is ready now. I'm, I'm gonna try it. Hot? Mm-hmm. Mmm. <laughs> this is really good. It's really good. It's actually really good with a um, papaya inside. Also, so fresh, so fruity. Very good. So we're now preparing the deep fried crispy tempeh in spinach. I'm a sous chef now. <laughs> I actually oh. never fried something before. No, so this is my very first time. My, my mom always used to say we can't fry at home because like it's too dangerous. So now I'm doing it here. So we have to wait for the oil to clear up. When there are a lot of bubbles, the tempeh is not yet ready. And also you have to cook it on a lower heat because if you cook it on a high heat, that means the tempeh will burn very quickly, but it won't be ready inside. Right? Yeah. Right. So much better than Nazi Champur. <laughs> Let's take a quick break to thank our sponsor Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform where you can easily create your own professional website using their award-winning web designs. Mark and I had no idea how to create our own website and this is why we love Squarespace. They have customizable templates which make it so easy. Every part of the website we can adjust and customize just to our needs. If you already have a website with Squarespace, please leave it down below so we can check it out. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial of your own website. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Vlogs to save 10% on your first purchase of a website or domain. We will put the link down in the description. And now let's go back to the cooking class. Did you already try one more? No. So the consistency is like a chip. Very, very crispy. I don't taste spinach, but I taste coconut from the coconut oil. The coconut chips. <laughs> Almost at the end of our class, and we're just making some pizza and goreng now, just for the dessert, and it's Mark's best day. 
I'm very, very excited to try the pisang goreng. Very excited. We're gonna Fresh, see. Self made pisang goreng. I'm very excited. <laughs> Look at this pisang goreng. It looks so clean. Usually on the street, it's like this bulky, big thing. So we just finished the cooking class and we are so amazed how it went. The Yogi and Wayan, they're so amazing. Also the owners joined us and were explaining a lot of stuff to us. They showed us the whole garden. We're honestly very surprised how good this class is. It's a private class, so it's a minimum of two persons who have to participate per class and we cannot recommend it enough. Delicious. So the young papaya is a little bit like potato. I know it's like from potato soup, but it's so rich, so fatty. Ooh. So I didn't try the spinach one before. I'm gonna go ahead and try it now. So crispy. Hmm. Tastes like chips, kind of like potato chips. A little bit salty and like coconut also a little bit. Very good. Oh, spicy, very spicy. But the vegetables are very sour. It's a very interesting combination of sour and spicy. I like it. I didn't know that tofu could taste this good actually. It tastes like scrambled eggs, kind of. <laughs> it isn't, but honestly I didn't know that tofu could be this good. It looks gooey. I'm gonna take a bite now. Mmm, okay. So it's sweet potato with coconut inside and you can definitely taste the coconut here. It's not too sweet, it's just a little bit sweet. Also, I'm gonna show you something. This is the mulberry that we picked from the tree earlier. I'm gonna try it. Mmm, that one is really sweet. It's a combination of banana and sweet potato, coconut, kind of pudding, but not really. It's also very like watery. Yeah, very, very good. I don't need a plate for this one. Mm, so soft, so sweet. Never gonna buy it on the streets again. I'm gonna buy it on the streets. But oh, it's so good. All right. Oh. Okay guys, so this is the end of our day in Anandini Organic Garden and Kitchen. We are so happy that we did this class here because it was honestly once in a lifetime experience. If you plan to come to Cedarman, check out this class. It's all vegan food. Actually, the owners are vegan as well. And we hope to see you in the next episode. Bye bye. Bye bye. These are banana leaves and if you buy them, if you buy one entire tree with banana leaves, like only the leaves for sure, then you pay 1,000 rupiah, which is extremely cheap. Per and leaf? No, mm -hmm. for all of the leaves. Mm -hmm. Per leaf? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Sure. Try our first Dimpi Goreng Lara. Okay, but I have to unwrap my hair first. And I'm just... How do you say it? Is that one I'm doing? Mixing? Oh yeah. So after Laura's quick review, I'm gonna taste the mix next. <laughs> after Laura's quick review, I'm gonna taste the mix. We didn't have tofu. We didn't have. <laughs> it 
It has a very plain taste. I have something really fun to share with you. We are on the local news in Indonesia with our food video. <laughs> so I'm about to see the article or next story for some screenshots. Good morning, everyone. We just finished our breakfast and filming some videos. And I just want to show you real quick our balcony can you hear how loud these insects are and it's going on all day long that's a really cool view it is starting do you like my authentic indonesian hat our guide Ryan is very knowledgeable we learned so much about jackfruit bananas i didn't know that bananas grow only once So the team prepared for us this super cute table right in the garden and we're gonna eat here. So right now we are trying the dishes we made. It's the young papaya soup. And the food tastes so rich and so good.